Hi, my name is Dom and I am one of the main instructors at Archer's Blue Car Driving School and welcome to our lesson on how to parallel park. Step 1. Setting up. First thing you must do when you are getting ready to uh, parallel park is to make sure that your passenger's side mirror is properly adjusted. To do this, the side of the car should be visible in one quarter of the mirror or less and the horizon level should be about three quarters up the mirror. Once your mirror is properly adjusted, you should be able to see cars coming from behind you where you are in your lane and see how far you are from the curb when parking. When we line up against the car that we're going to be parallel parking against with, we want to make sure that we are approximately one meter apart from the other car and that our back end is slightly behind the car that we are parking against. To make sure that you are staggered to the other car, look through the rear passenger window and make sure that you can see the back end of the car between a quarter up to the middle of the window. Step 2. Getting a good 45 degree angle. Once you are ready to begin your parallel parking attempt, you will reverse the car very slowly while turning the wheels all the way to the right until you've reached approximately a 45 degree angle between the side of the car and the curb. As you are reversing while turning to the right, you will notice in your passenger side mirror that the side of the car will gradually meet the curb to form a triangle. Once you have a nice equilateral triangle, you have reached an approximately 45 degree angle to the curb. Step 3. Backing up straight. After you get your 45 degree angle, you want to straighten out your wheels and reverse slowly to get close to the curb. As you are backing up, you will notice that the triangle is getting smaller and smaller. Once the triangle disappears, you want to start turning towards the left. Step 4. Running parallel to the curb. Once your back end is close to the curb, you want to keep reversing while turning all the way to the left until your front end runs parallel with the curb. To establish that the car is running parallel with the curb, keep your eyes on the side passenger mirror and keep turning until the car runs approximately parallel with the curb and readjust if required. Once you are running parallel with the curb, you want to straighten out your wheels and close the gap between you and the car in front of you to approximately a meter to a meter and a half. The distance we want to achieve away from the curb is to be from anywhere between not touching to 50 centimeters away from the curb. Once we are satisfied, we put the car in park and apply it to park brake. To recap, after we have done our setup, Move slowly in reverse and turn your wheels all the way to the right until you get a 45 degree angle. Then you're going to straighten out your wheels and back up slowly until the triangle disappears. Then turn all the way to the left until the car runs parallel to the curb. Then straighten out the wheels, close the gap between the cars, put the car in park and apply the park brake.